Here is a rather innocent looking question that can be confusing. When you have square root of negative number, you cannot just go ahead and multiply with the other square root of a negative number. For example, if we have square root of 2 times square root of 5, that is equal to square root of 10. However, when we have a negative number inside the square root, because it's an imaginary number, we cannot combine it like we do here when we have positive numbers. Here's what we need to do. First, let's go ahead and take a look at what we should do. We need to change that negative 3 into negative 1 times 3, and also the negative 12 into negative 1 times 12. And then separate it into root negative 1 times root 3, and also root negative 1 times root 12. Square root of negative 1 is i. By definition, that's what imaginary number is. So we end up getting i root 3 times i root 12. If we take the i times i, we get i squared. And also, if we do root 3 times root 12, we get root 36. Again, i squared is negative 1. Then we end up getting negative 1 from the i squared, and square root of 36 is 6. Just to let you know, when we do square root of 36, it's not plus minus 6, as a lot of the people say. When we use this radical sign, we only use the principal root or the positive root. So again, to iterate, square root of 36 does not equal to plus minus 6. It only equals positive 6, even though square root of 36 is plus minus 6. But when we use that radical sign, we only use the principal root or just the positive root. I hope everybody understands that. So we end up getting final answer of negative 6. Now that you've seen the correct way of doing this, let me show you the wrong way or the way you shouldn't be doing as well so that you know what mistakes you've been making. What we shouldn't do is when you have that square root of a negative number and another negative number like this, you cannot combine it into one square root. Only when there are positive numbers, we can. When there are negative numbers like that, we cannot. Again, don't do this. The reason for that is because if we multiply negative 3 and negative 12, we end up getting positive 36 or square root of 36, which gives us a final answer of plus 6. Once again, square root of 36 does not equal plus minus 6 because when we're using that radical sign, we only use the positive root or the principal root. Yes, square root Square roots of 36 are plus minus 6. I agree, that's correct. However, when we use that square root sign, the radical sign, then we only use the positive root, again, the principal root. So as you can see, if we do it the correct way, we end up with the final answer of negative 6. Whereas if we do it the wrong way or the incorrect way, we end up with the answer of positive 6, which of course is the wrong answer.